Greetings. Today I want to remind you that misery loves company. And over my journey, I've come to realize that misery just as fear and any other uh, emotion that we express can look many different ways. Sometimes the state of being that is misery looks like a group or individual who refuses to change, who refuses to see something differently in life. They're essentially held back by the beliefs that they found comfort with. And I don't condemn them. We all make our choices. However, I've become to to see or I guess realize that what is misery for me is comfort for somebody else and vice versa. That's perfectly fine. What helped me the most or what brings this topic to mind is knowing that just because I see the difference doesn't mean I must join into the misery. I can accept it for others, but not for myself. So along my journey, I've, I've found more and more ways to find peace within myself because that, that's a portion of the kingdom of heaven for me. That's what works for me. Whereas I've also come across many who find peace in chaos. It's perfectly fine. It is only my choices to bring me peace. It is also my choices they keep me away from or give me the power to step away from chaos. So I want to remind you that you too make the same choices. If you're dealing with people, place, things, what have you, even beliefs that are chaotic, nothing and nobody can take you away from that but self. Physician, heal thyself. It's a constant that we must do. It's not to say that we're going to be perfect. No, we'll have our slip ups. That's fine. But remind yourself of the choices that you make to give you what you desire, whether it be peace and whether it be chaos. It's all within you. It's just about the choices that you make. If we get stuck in a certain period or a state of mind where we believe misery is surrounding us, we must look at our choices. And it doesn't get easier with time. It's simple, but it's not always easy. And the more I go into my journey, the more I look for the things to give me peace because I spent so much of my earlier years in chaos. That was what I knew. It wasn't until I opened my mind to see that this might not be working out for me. It wasn't until then that I found an element of peace and it had always been there along my journey. I just didn't appreciate it. I didn't even understand how valuable it was. Now I speak to you about peace because that's what I cherish. But that's not for everybody. Some people like the chaos of life. They love being creators of chaos. Cool. And to be honest with you, I've seen many that have lived a majority of their life as much as I've known them or been able to witness them in comfort with that chaos. I would like to believe that the peace that I see for myself, they see for themselves, but maybe that's just not true. And that's okay. For a long time, I didn't want to accept that. 
And I'm not even one to say that over a certain amount of time, they too will seek what I seek. Nah, that's not how this reality works. We yield the fruit of the trees that we plant. Those are the beliefs and the choices of the branches. So if one knows chaos and is so familiar with chaos, that that is almost all they know, then they will make sense of the world in a chaotic fashion. They will make their choices to yield the fruit of that tree of chaos. I can be mad at it, but it's pointless. Because just as I have choice, they do as well. I can accept that. I can appreciate that because it's a demonstration of the variety that is this reality. But it doesn't mean I have to plant that seed. It doesn't mean that in my reality, I have to nourish that element of this reality. Nah. And you don't either. It's not about what others think. But sometimes the misery loves company is simply telling us that we want to be around those who appreciate what we appreciate. And if you appreciate chaos, you want to be around that more and more and feed off of it. If you want to be around peace, you look for that, you search for it, you feed it. It's not on us to tell others how to live. It's on us to choose how we want to live and demonstrate that, be that, express that, and support that inclination with more and more choices that support it. Whatever works for you, works for you. I'm not here to tell you that I haven't figured out. I'm just sharing with you what's been reviewed or been revealed more so in myself. Live your life by your choices. But know that your life is a product of your choices. No matter what naysayers or backbiters may say or do, remember that just as you choose your life, they've chosen theirs as well and allow them to eat the fruit that they bear, whether bitter or sweet. Sometimes others are so far deep, even ourselves are so far deep into certain ideas that it's difficult to see another perspective. It's difficult to see outside of that. And life will give us endless chances to see it differently. Until next time, be blessed.